Hi guys, it's Confident Coding. Welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to script and build a traffic light. So first of all, you want to insert a part and insert a cylinder mesh. You want to rotate this so it is facing 90 degrees to the way it is now. And then you want to duplicate this so you have three of them all together. Make sure to colour them all black in the first place. Make this one red. Make sure they're all anchored. Now, you want to give each of them a different name because then you can refer to each of these parts when you're trying to write up the script. Now, you want to group them all together insert a script. Now we're going to start off our script with script.parent dot and then you're going to refer to on the name parts in the workspace that you named before. Make sure that you click on the part and look in the workspace just so that you know you've got the right part you don't end up scripting the wrong part so then everything goes wrong. We're going to be using a function called while true do. This means it loops the script round and round and you must put an end at the end to show its end of the function. This is very helpful when you try and do traffic lights. So we're going to be using something we've already learned in our scripting tutorials, which is brick color equals brick color dot new, and then in inverted commas, the name of the color you want to change it to. In this case, it is going to be really black, which is a nice shade of black, useful, when the circuit traffic light doesn't need to display a colour. Next line which is just going to be script.parent.light and then check everything is okay. It's going to be dot light two. We're going to be changing it to yellow because this is the middle circle in the traffic light. Now we're going to say wait to one. This makes the whole script pause for one second. We're going to say script dot parent dot light to dot brick color equals brick color dot new it is really black. So it's going to go to yellow. After one second, it's going to go back to black. And we're going to say script.parent.light on dot brick color dot new equals bright green. While making the script, don't make the timings realistic like 
between uh, green and going back to wait 20 as when you're trying to test out the script this is not very helpful you should change that as the last thing you do so now after it's gone to green I put another wait one but normally we're going to put wait 20 but just for wait one so we can test it we're going to put script dot parent dot light two dot brick color equals brick color dot new bright yellow we're going to say another wait one script dot parent dot light two dot brick color equals brick color dot new is really black so it's going to go from yellow to black and finally we're going to make Light three, go back to red. And then we can say wait one at the end, so it waits one, and then it's going to repeat the whole cycle again. Now let's test this out. As you can see the cycle works but I have not spelt bright yellow properly and I think I've forgotten to change the bottom green circle to go back to black. I can easily fix this. I'm going to say script dot parent dot light one dot brick color equals brick color dot new inverted commas really black. Press run. We'll see if this works. It does work. It's just it's the middle one that is not changing to yellow. Make sure to check the exact name of the colour that you're going to put in the script. So I put a capitalised yellow when it was actually a lowercase. Y for yellow. Now this works. And now I'm going to show you a very quick speeded up video of how to actually make a traffic light. I will leave the model link in the description for you to take for yourself so you can see how I made it.